This is uh, Shomitra Das from Orissa Swasthya Savasan. Uh, today I am going to discuss with you three points that are known as Buddha's Triangle. Very interesting name, Buddha's Triangle. So what is Buddha's Triangle? How it works? And uh, where they are located? So we are going to discuss about it. And uh, first, so let us see what is exactly Buddha's Triangle means and what those points are. Buddha's Triangle are composed of three uh, acupressure meridian points and they looks like a triangle where they are located they looks like a triangle exactly like a triangle so who are they the points one is lu9 that is longs 9 then that is h7 that is heart 7 then we have the third one that is called p6 that is pericardium 6 and all these three meridian points that is they belong to three meridian meridians who are they? Longs meridian, pericardium meridian and heart meridian. So they are part of those meridians and where they are located? They are located around the wrist okay? and that is why they form like a, uh, what, uh, like a triangle. And uh, what is the importance of it? The most important thing is these three th points plays a very important role in treating both mind and body. So they can play a very good role in harmonizing the body and mind and they can link these two things body and mind. So where they are located and what are the importance of each of these points? Let us see that. Let us take up LU9. So LU9 that is Long's 9 is at the end of the transverse case that is the radial end of the transverse case. This is the radial end and this is the radial end of the transverse case. And here we have the radial artery. So, where in the radial artery? On the radial side of the radial artery, okay. On the radial side of the radial artery is the point over here. This is the point. Exactly the location is at the transverse end of the uh, uh, crease. Here is LU9. So, it plays a very vital role in harmonizing the uh, lungs capacity. It plays a very vital role in uh, balancing the energy. So these are the one and we will discuss uh, towards the end that exactly where ex all these three combination when you put pressure LU9, H7 and uh, P6, what you get out of it, out of this Buddha's triangle point. So the next point let us see now. So now let us uh, understand and see where is point number H7 that is heart 7. Heart 7 is on the transverse case at the other end of the transverse case. So the LU9 was on the this end of the transverse case, radial end of the transverse case. This is the other end of the transverse case. Where exactly? Here is this flexor carpi ulnaris tendon. Here is the tendon. Here is the tendon. The tendons on the radial side of the tendon, that is the inner side of this. This is its side. Here is a depression. So this is the point. It is called H7, heart 7. H7 is very important point because it is a life saving point also. Why life saving point? I have explained it in another video. You can watch it. But it is a, a life saving point and also it balances the body mind. Okay? It has a very good effect on calming the mind. It has a very good effect on the heart. So overall it is a very important point along with H9 and P6 forming the Buddha's triangle. So now next we will see where is point number P6, the third of the Buddha's triangle. P6, the third of the Buddha's triangle, okay, where it is. So this is the transverse crease. So on the both the end of the transverse crease, reach transverse crease was LU9 and P87. Now P6, from the transverse crease, three fingers below, okay. In between these two tendons, you can see the two tendons over here, two tendons, you can see. So, in between the two tendons is the P6 that is pericardium 6. But remember, science, acupressure is a science, is a science, but putting pressure is completely an art. So, what is the art of putting pressure? You should not press it like this. If you press it like this, then you are pressing the tendon. So, you have to go in between the tendon. So, you have to press it like this so that the tip of the thumb, thumb goes in between the tendon. This is here, that is three fingers below the 
wrist crease it is called p6 p6 works very closely with h7 same effect okay like um, uh, calming the mind and have a tranquilizing effect and uh, brings very good sleep and h7 is a big brother so p6 is like a small brother so and these two three that's the triangle they make the triangle who are the triangles what what are the triangle lu9 h7 and p6 they make the triangle this the benefits are numbers of i mean you can count and count, go on counting it so what are the benefits like let us see it helps us in emotional balance helps reduce anxiety stress and depression it also brings mental clarity who this buddha triangle brings mental clarity improves focus and calms the mind and nowadays lot of people have difficulty in sleeping and this buddha triangle helps us in having a better sleep and heart and lungs the most two vital organs it harmonizes this and also one of these buddha triangle point that is p6 helps us in digestion also thing combination of points buddha triangle suggest so it gives a calming effect on the human body mind so what more you need so there are a lot of buddha triangle we will discuss further but out of all the buddha triangle of acupressure point this is the most important buddha triangle that helps in harmonizing mind and body thank you